Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about ventricular receptacle defect. We'll know the causes, we'll listen to the murmur, and we'll know the treatment. It's a holosystolic murmur, just like mitral and tricuspid regurgitation. It's holosystolic, so we expect the murmur to be in between the first and second heart sound, and it's hollow, which means constant. So it fills the entire gap between the first and second heart sound. To better appreciate the murmur, place the stethoscope in between the fourth and fifth lift intercostal space. And here's what it sounds like. Having a septal defect in the membranous part is normal to some degree. And matter of fact, most of the population are born with this defect. Although the opening would be small and would close very rapidly in about a month or two. If it's much larger or if it doesn't close, it will cause symptoms. And the patient would present with poor feeding and failure to thrive, breathlessness and fast breathing, easy tiring, and constant fatigue. If untreated, this will result in pulmonary hypertension and heart failure. And commonly causes Eisenmenger syndrome. As with all cardiac murmurs, transthoracic echo is the initial test, transesophageal echo is better, and catheterization is the most accurate test. The treatment is simply surgical repair. It's a very clean and fast catheterization procedure. To make memorizing heart sounds easier, I've designed an app called Heart Sounds. The app includes the murmur explained in this video along with every other murmur. You can browse them very easily, compare them together, listen to them, know the causes, the symptoms, and everything else. And as a cherry on top, there is even a quiz section that you can use to test your retention and make sure you stay updated. It is completely free in the Play Store. I'll have the link in the description.